the problem is not the play itself, it's all the way back here. Um, so Ramis and Rel, they show top lane. And but I don't go right now, right? Because 2v3. Go. Or do I still cover dive? So when they're when the rail is walking forward like this, you you need mm -hmm. to look, you're just not looking. <laughs> so the rail is like going doing this, and you see Ramus, and you eat. Every time someone shows on vision, every time someone is like clearly doing something on the map, you need to like see what they're doing. Look. Yeah, like what what are they playing for? What 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 could they possibly be doing? They're going to try and dive <laughs> this Camille. So did well, you come I, I, now? I didn't know if I the whole thing was even if I looked, I didn't want to go right now. I want to play invade Ramis. Even if they, I don't think they kill Camille. Push his voice. Yeah, but the how? Like, why are we letting Camille lose a wave and lose plates when you guys literally can two v three them if they're under your turret? Like, if this Camille plays into the dive, I'm sure she can outplay it. And I'm sure if you come, you can yeah. wipe and clean. And I'm sure as hell if they walk this far, this like this deep, like <laughs> these guys should fucking die. Like this should not be legal. That's the problem. Not not the fight itself, but it's the fact that your teammate literally has to play like Thanos, like Bin, in order to to survive here. When it should make no sense for him to be doing that. Again, okay, congrats, okay. you got a camp, bro. But like this guy lost the plates, he lost the waves, and like you're actually delaying your tempo for one camp. I mean, it's just really bad to let your teammate die like this. Or effectively okay. die. This is a question I had as well. Yeah, I was gonna ask if I should cover dive because like it was obvious that like there's a three going top, but like I didn't know if I wanted to cover dive because it meant this. No, you should always cover dive. I mean, your ball lane's not winning. Your mid lane's already doing good. Like, why would you not want to help this guy? And you tell me you can't win two v three, so just let your Camille catch his wave then. If that's a, that's a cannon wave right there, that's worth two camps. Cannon wave is already worth a camp, worth of gold, not any XP, and then the rest of the wave is worth another camp. So, huh. your guy misses a whole wave, he's missing an equivalent to 200 gold. Be in range to at least let this guy catch his wave then. And if you want to, after your ball in comes, then you can push him out and you can do Herald, naturally. All this is kind of just like, why am I on this Gromp here? Like, what am I accomplishing? If you were on his Raptors, if you were on his, his the Dragon, or the bot side are killing Ezreal, then I'll be like, okay, that makes sense because you're dropping top side and you're letting him survive, sure, and you're going bot lane to trade, okay, to get some sort of advantage while they're in the top side. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. But when you're in the top Wait, side. Can you go back before I jump? So when Ramus goes down, when I, like, is it still bad to go, go like, like this? Because I thought the just yes, jump. He's gonna bit, come down and do the down. freaking grop, man. So shouldn't I go like and kill him? He's, no, he's, he's go do the subjective. Go to the subjective. Like how we forgot the fundamentals. Like why are you? Like why do you want to invade this guy so badly? Oh okay. I was gonna go herald. Oh okay. I remember actually. I was gonna go herald, but because Rel's top as well and jungle's top, I didn't go herald. So I just wanted to invade. Him. That's fine, but we sh the goal should not be to kill this guy. The goal should not be to invade this guy. The goal should be doing this. These objectives in your freaking face. Okay, so here I just go dragon, or, or, or protect dive top. Protect dive top, and then you can pivot into herald easily with how much prowl you guys have mid, and how strong you guys are. Like you guys are so strong, you guys should not let them get herald. Period. You guys should not trade this dragon for herald. You guys are stronger than them. How are you stronger than them? Well, you know you're stronger than the Ramus right now. So, fight him on the herald on the objective, not in his jungle. I saw Herald right now, right? You said cover die first and then. Yeah, cover die first, play on this wave, play on this wave. But the goal is never invade, the goal is never play for enemy camps, the goal is Herald. So that's why they invade earlier. I'm also like, what the fuck are we doing? Please go play for Herald. You have your first item. It's very obvious, hey, Herald's alive. If I go get this Herald, it's gonna be an easy fucking game. When you play for these invades both times, it's just like, why? You're just ruining your game. If Ramis comes down and Garen doesn't want to play up, you're going to 1v4 in the enemy jungle, 1v3. You think you win 1v3 in the jungle right here. <laughs> Ramis comes down, goes for the Grump. You're just fucking dead. <laughs> Again, the same play. 
And the moment Ramos does if show top. Rel top. doesn't show top like this, is it do I still play for Herald if I don't know where she is on the map? Yes, you're stronger than them. Why are we why why is that like why are you so concerned to play for this objective? Okay, what's more concerning like, to me is you're you're willing to invade, which is ten times riskier than an objective. So how does that make sense? You want to invade, you don't care where Rel. Like, you, you obviously see Rel, but back here you want to invade. You're not sure where anyone is, but now for the objective you're asking oh, where Rel is. Like how does that make sense? If you're stronger than them and you feel powerful, and that's why you're going for this invade, please play for the objective instead. If there, if it's an objective okay. is alive, mm -hmm. because you're not wrong. You are stronger. You will win the game if you play for the objective. So much easier. After the objective, if they int, if they kill themselves, if they play bad tempo, if they're not clearing their camps, if the Rams is just playing like, a, like an absolute idiot, then go invade them afterwards. If they come fight you, free fight, you win. If they, if they don't fight you, free objective. That's 200 gold, plates, you can break the turret, fucking GG. Like, it's just good <laughs> to play for the objective. Mm -hmm. I don't know, we, 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 a long time ago, when you were in this position, you would play with the objective, and now you're playing a little too um, psychotically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Which is not a bad thing inherently, but you're doing this almost alone with very, very, very few conditions to, to look at. Um, what I mean by that is like, if you were really paying attention to that bot invade earlier, you should know that Ezreal has tempo off base. Like I know instinctively, like I'm not invading his red buff. Their ADC can come, their mid laner could come, their rel could come. So I'm not invading that shit. So it feels like we're not tracking that. So what makes us allowed to invade? And then here, please cover the dive and please do the herald. You will win. Okay. The objectives are off the map. You have your teammates with you. You have your, your camps cleared for the most part. You can invade. I'm not saying don't invade. But the conditions right now is... Like after objectives. Yeah, like after objectives. But the condition now is also like... They have prior top lane. The guys gotta check you. How is this the place we're invading? <laughs> Go invade here! Where they're not. Right now, this is his strong side, right? This is this is where he's playing, so go down here, and just eat this whole quadrant, potentially dive this guy, potentially kill this guy, and take this dragon. That's what I'm more concerned. Okay. How are we matching his side here? How is that the place we're invading, where we can just go down here, take free camp, take free kill, take free objective, or more free camp? All right. Wait, I'm still a little confused. So is is it better to go bot quadrant or actually cover dive? So what's better here is you cover dive, but I'm saying if you think like oh if I'm gonna invade then yes if yeah, you're going to invade it's not yeah. in this side it's okay. not in this quadrant yes it's, okay, okay. like you should never let your ally get dough for free you know lose waves for free it just makes no sense you're either trading on the opposite quadrant or you're stopping it 